Hey, welcome back. Michael, KC9PHK, here with 5.9 Radio presenting the 2023-2027 to General Class Question Pool, 7-Element G5C, Resistors, Capacitors, Inductors, In-Series, and Parallel, and Transformers. G5C01, what causes a voltage to appear across the secondary winding of a transformer when an AC voltage source is connected across its primary winding? That's mutual inductance. G5C02, what is the output voltage if an output signal is applied to a secondary winding of a 4 to 1 voltage step down transformer instead of a primary winding? The input voltage is multiplied by 4. G5C03, what is the total resistance of a 10, a 20, and a 50 ohm resistor connected in parallel? That's 5.9 ohms. G5C04, what is the approximate total resistance of a 100 and 200 ohm resistor in parallel? That's 67 ohms. G5C05, what is the primary winding wire? Why is the primary winding wire of a voltage step up transformer usually a larger size than that of the secondary winding? And that's to accommodate the higher current of the primary. G5C06, what is the voltage output of a transformer with a 500 turn primary and a 1500 turn secondary when the when 120 volt AC is applied to the primary? That's going to be 360 volts. G5C07, what transformer turns ratio matches an antenna 600 ohm feed point impedance to a 50 ohm coaxial cable? It's 3.5 to 1. G5C08, what is the equivalent capacitance of two 5.0 nanofarad capacitors and one 750 picofarad capacitor connected in parallel? That's 10.750 nanofarads. G5C09, what is the capacitance of three 100 microfarad capacitors connected in series? Answer is 33.3 microfarads. G5C10, what is the inductance of three 10 millihenry inductors connected in parallel? Answer is 3.3 millihenries. G5C11, what is the inductance of a circuit with a 20 millihenry inductor connected in series with a 50 millihenry inductor? Answer is 70 millihenries. G5C12, what is the capacitance of a 20 microfarad capacitor connected in series with a 50 microfarad capacitor? It's going to be 14.3 microfarads. G5C13, which of the following components should be added to a capacitor to increase the capacitance? It's going to be a capacitor in parallel. G5C14, which of the following components should be added to an inductor to increase the inductance? An inductor in series. Going on to sub-element G6, circuit components. Two exam questions come out of the two groups here. First up, G6A, resistors, capacitors, inductors, rectifiers, solid-state diodes, and transistors, vacuum tubes, and batteries. G6A01, what is the minimum allowable discharge voltage for maximum life of a standard 12-volt lead-acid battery? That's going to be 10.5 volts. G6A02, what is the advantage of batteries with low internal resistance? They have high discharge current. G6A03, what is the approximate forward threshold voltage of a geranium diode? It's going to be 0.3 volts. G6A04, which of the following is a characteristic of an electrolytic capacitor? High capacitance for a given volume. G6A05, what is the approximate forward threshold voltage of a silicon junction diode? 0.7 volts. G6A06, why should wire-wound resistors not be used in RF circuits? The resistor's inductance could make circuit performance in unpredictable. G6A07, what, is, what are the operating points 
for a bipolar transistor used as a switch. That's going to be saturation and cutoff. Saturation and cutoff. G6A08, which of the following is characteristic of low voltage ceramic capacitors? Comparatively low cost. G6A09, which of the following describes MOSFET construction? That's the gate is separated from the channel by a thin insulating layer. G6A10, which element of a vacuum tube regulates the flow of electrons between cathode and the plate? That's the control grid. G6A11, what happens when an inductor is operated above its self-resonant frequency? It becomes capacitive. G6A12, what is the primary purpose of a screen grid in a vacuum tube? To reduce grid to plate capacitance. G6B covers analog and digital integrated circuits, microwave ICs, display devices, RF connectors, and ferrite cores. G6B01, what determines the performance of a ferrite core at different frequencies? The composition or mix of materials used. G6B02, what is meant by the term MMIC? It's monolithic microwave integrated circuit. G6B03, which of the following is an advantage of CMOS integrated circuits compared to TTL integrated circuits? It's low power consumption. G6B04, what is the typical upper frequency limit of for low SWR operation of 50 ohm BNC connectors? It's going to be 4 gigahertz. G6B05, what is an advantage of using a ferrite core toroidal inductor? All of these choices are correct, so large values of inductance may be obtained. The magnetic properties of the core may be optimized for specific range of frequencies, and most of the magnetic field is contained in the core. G6B06, what kind of device is an integrated circuit operational amplifier? That's going to be analog. G6B07, which of the following describes a type N connector? A moisture-resistant RF connector useful to 10 gigahertz. G6B08, how is an LED biased when emitting light? And that would be forward biased. G6B09, how does a liquid crystal display compare to an LED display? Higher contrast in high ambient light. G6B10, how does a ferrite bead or core redux common mode RF current on the shield of a coaxial cable? How does a ferrite bead or core reduce common mode RF current on the shield of a coaxial cable? By creating an impedance in the current's path. G6B11, what is an SMA connector? An SMA connector is a small threaded connector suitable for signals up to several gigahertz. G6B12, which of the f these connector types is commonly used for low frequency or DC signal connections to a transceiver? It's going to be RCA Phono. All right, that concludes sub-element G5 and G6. Make sure that you're subscribed so you're made aware when we release new videos. We're getting close to the end of this, so make sure you're reviewing it. Hopefully you can get licensed. Join us again next time as we continue on with sub-element G7. Thank you.